So, <laughs> 206. So, this is a, an attempt at creating the new standard or the new record at the 81 kilo category. Wow. And he's really putting the, protest, the pressure on the Italian. They must be confident to do this. Oh, look at that, Michaela. He's done it. That is unreal. 16 years of age. European senior record holder in the clean and jerk. What's up guys, Derek from ourplacementrelates.com. Today we are going to be talking about high level weightlifting again and a genetic fucking hyper elite that is defying goddamn all, pretty much everything. So this is sort of relevant to uh, the video I posted the other day responding to Clarence Zero's uh, anti-doping video where he kind of broke down how uh, drug testing is failing um, in high level weightlifting and how guys are skirting, skirting around tests and whatnot. And, you know, I kind of uh, tagged along my analysis and kind of broke down some of the pharmacology and chemistry components of it to kind of uh, add on to the content and whatnot. And this is a very relevant concept to what we were just talking about the other day with this 16 year old nearly breaking a world record in the exact same sport. So, <laughs> This guy has, uh, his name is Carlos Sturry, and I might be saying it wrong, but he's only 16 years old. Yes, 16, and this is what he looks like right now. So, like, this is a grown man, like, with a good physique kind of looking guy. If you go back to the start of his Instagram, obviously, you know, you just see a kid who, like, like, this is, <laughs> this is only 2018, dude, and he looked like this. So, you know, going through puberty and that's all that happens and he starts to, you know, gain some visible abs, his body composition develops pretty significantly. Um, he starts to pack on a bit of mass. And around this time, he uh, starts posting about his, uh, his lifts and whatnot and his progress. And you can see him just accelerating at a ridiculous speed at this point where all of a sudden within just a couple of years, the guy looks like a, fr a full grown man and not just a full ground man, like <laughs> a fucking yoked one, dude. Like, look at this guy's back at, this was 15 years old. 15, bro. Here he is at 16 now with the traps popping. Here's him holding a fucking shit ton above his head. And just looking fucking D's, dude. This guy looks absolutely insane, regardless if he's 16 or not. So anyways, obviously this guy got a lot of attention because not only, well, not even the physique necessarily, which in itself is, you know, insanely impressive, but above and beyond that, he clean and jerked 206 kilograms the other day. So this is the article that kind of breaks down the, uh, the win at the weightlifting championship he just competed at. Bulgarian teenager smashes records in Britain, win rare gold at European weightlifting champion championships. Um, let's see. It was Britain's first senior continental title since Myrtle Augie won in 1995, blah, blah, blah. In a sensational finish to the men's 81 kilogram, the Italian winner Antonino Pizzolatto and the Bulgarian Carlos Nasser both surpassed the clean and jerk European record because Nasser did it first. The record is now his at the age of 16, eight years younger than Pizzolatto and still young enough to, to compete as a youth for another year. So here he is holding the flag. Um, Nasser set youth world records in snatch, clean and jerk, and total a junior world record in the clean and jerk, and that senior continental record. His final lift, like defending champion Pisolatos, I don't know if I'm saying that wrong, but anyways, was only one kilogram below the senior world record at of 207 kilograms held by the great Chinese lifter Lu Zhaojun. I might have said that wrong too. Pizzolatto was in top form to make all six attempts, one more than Nazar. The Italian won by one kilogram on 370 kilograms, celebrating loudly and pumping the air, having beaten the European record on total by seven kilograms. Um, Nasser is labeled the new star of Bulgarian weightlifting in his homeland, and his name will now be known globally after one of the most remarkable performances by a teenager in years. So here he is in the middle here, age 16, bro. His efforts left Bulgaria for so long. A has been in weightlifting after years of glory late last century, top of the 
medals table as the European Championships passed the halfway mark. Nazar is from Chervin Bryag, a small town in northern Bulgaria, which is not known for producing weightlifters. His coach, Ilian Ilyev, I don't know if I'm saying that right, was apparently never a weightlifter himself, but has worked his magic, his magic, with Nassar, who was youth world champion in 2019 at 73 kilograms. Since then, he has grown taller, bulkier, and has improved his best total by more than 70 kilograms. Nassar does not feature in Olympic qualifying, but he seems sure to do so in the future. He is likely to be one of the star attractions next month in the Junior World Championships in Uzbekistan. Pizzolatto and Nazar were in a different class to the rest of the rivals in the snatch. There were far more no lifts than good ones, and three athletes failed to make it to the snatch. So, anyways, this guy's an absolute phenom. There was uh, some Reddit threads made about him, too. Carlos Nazar, Bulgaria, um, 16 years old. What the fuck? First comment, remembers Clarence's video. From my first thought, I fucking watched that video <laughs> yesterday night. Um, 20 years younger than Lou, only one kilogram behind. So anyways, this is going to be, uh, one video that I thought was really well done was, uh, by Weightlifting House and it has, uh, kind of like a summarization of this guy's chronological progression. So I thought we could react to that and then kind of give my summation slash, uh, conclusion on the whole phenom achieving this feat at such a young age and... What is realistic, you know, given the context that you have from the previous videos that Clarence just made, as well as the one I just published the other day. So here he is about to do the, uh, I think this is, this is his third attempt, apparently. So, 206. So this is a, an attempt at creating the new standard or the new record at the 81 kilo category. Wow. And he's really putting the, the pressure on the Italian. They must be confident to do this. Oh, look at that, Michaela. He's done it. That is unreal. 16 years of age. 16 years old. What the fuck, dude? European senior record holder in the clean and jerk. A couple of days ago, 81 kg, well, 80.84 kg, Carlos Nassar at 16 years old, clean and jerk 206 kilos, one kilo under Lu Zhaozhen's senior world record. And he also snatched 163. As soon as that happened, as you can imagine, Instagram, Reddit, my inbox became full of who is Carlos Nassar? So he goes through his uh, insane progress, which is obviously one of the main things you're going to look to when you're trying to determine, is this realistic? Is this just a genetic marvel? Or is it a little bit of uh, dabbling in some shit that may be responsible for some of this uh, absolute fucking <laughs> mind-boggling shit going on? For hitting that 113, 147 at 14 in 2018, he was 13 and age 13, he looked like this. And now, he looks like this. Puberty is one heck of a drug. A few weeks after this first photo was taken, and just 152 weeks ago, one week before he turned 14, he PR'd his back squat at 180 kilos. That's pretty good for a 13 year old, but it's not anything we haven't seen before. It's rare, but a lot of elite weightlifters start out at that kind of talent level at that age. But then his progress over the next three years is totally extraordinary. Two months after his 180 PR, he hits a 190 PR. Six months after his 190 PR, he hits a 210 kilo PR. And then, get this, six months after his 210 kilo PR, age 15, he hits 270 kilos in the back squat. So that's 180 to 270 in less than a year and a half. It's about a kilo every single week. Fast forward now to 2021, just a year later, and he posts a video of a 167 kilo snatch. That's four kilos over what he just hit and six kilos under Mohamed Ihab's senior world record of 173. Last month in training, he hit 206 kilos, equal to the weight that he just hit at the Europeans. And days after posting that 206, he also hit 207 kilos, equaling Lu Zhaozhen's senior world record. 
His best lifts in training are supposedly, according to him, and I totally believe this, 175 in the snatch, 2 kilos over the world record, and 210 in the clean and jerk, 3 kilos over the world record. This 206 kilo clean and jerk that you just hit at the Europeans is 2 kilos over Lee Dai-in's junior world record of 204 kilos, a weight that Lee Dai-in did age 20. Carlos Nassar is 16. But really, the thing is, Carlos Nassar is a youth weightlifter. And he's still a youth weightlifter for the rest of this year. His 163 snatch is 15 kilos over the youth world record. And his 206 kilo clean and jerk is 23 kilos over the youth world record. So we're talking about genetic hyper elites all competing in this, trying to be the best in the world. And you have one guy who's like barely, <laughs> barely done puberty. And he's at the top of the heap beating guys who are or matching dudes who are many, many years older than him. Like, what is the likelihood that this is just a result of, uh, you know, good training practices, diet, and, uh, you know, good uh, good balls, you know, really good balls, producing lots of testosterone, nothing, nothing fishy going on here. We haven't really seen anyone do this type of thing since Ilya Ilyin turned up to the 2005 World Championship age 17 in the 85 kilo category. And he went 117 in the snatch, 216 in the clean and jerk. That's just two kilos under the world record at the time. Just before that, it was a Tanis Agir from Turkey, a bit of a flash of the pan career type lifter and just a flash under the barbell as well. Age 19 in the 77 kilo category at the 2004 Olympic Games, he snatched 172.5 Olympic record. He clean jerked 202.5 Olympic record, a 375 Olympic record total. And then prior to that, it was my favorite technician ever. Simon Kalecki. I mean, just check out that jerk position that is the best jerk of all time. At Carlos Nassar's age, so age 16, Simon Kalecki as a 94 kilo lifter, he went 165, 217.5. Not quite the same Sinclair, not quite as good as Carlos. But then by 17, Simon Kalecki hit an unofficial world record of 233 kilos. That's the weight that we saw Ilya do in 2012, and then we saw Sarab Muradi do in 2017. Later that year, at the 1999 European Championship, still at the age of 17, Simon Kalecki defeated Akaki Kakishvili from Greece, a three-time Olympic champion and clearly one of the best weightlifters ever, holder of the heaviest overbody weight clean and jerk ever, and if you know what that lift is, put it down in the comments below, I'll be impressed. And he defeated him with a 180 snatch and a 225 kilo clean and jerk. So this guy's like literally digging through the goddamn history books to try and dissect how absolutely mind boggling this kid is. For me, it's uh, pretty clear as day what's going on. You know, I could not chalk this up to just puberty, it could not just be, you know, perfect technical skills, it could not just be ideal training circumstances, sleep hygiene, blah, blah, blah. This is the perfect storm of genetics meets drugs, in my opinion. This is not something that you're going to be able to do and excel above guys who are elites and guys who have historically been uh, proven to test positive for shit. And you're 16 years old and you're getting like proportionally like similar statistics going at an earlier age. Like what is the likelihood that you're the phenom who is natural and those other guys are just, you know, way shittier than you because they had to take shit and you didn't need to like just be this is just an example of many well not many this is just a great shining example of somebody who's standing out very blatantly in a tested sport getting you know results that are essentially unnatural you know i can't imagine this is being done naturally i would think that you know per i don't know if it's his coach this special coach that has no weightlifting experience and he's just a fucking chemist or what the deal is but um, would not surprise me, to be honest. A lot of uh, sports nowadays, it's not uncommon to have a guy under salary who literally all he does is um, address the pharmacology aspect. This is something that is more and more prevalent nowadays and frankly is uh, a necessity for some of these guys in some of these sports. So to me, it's just crazy. Like the age, some of this shit is happening. Like you're seeing more and more genetic hyper elites coming out of the woodwork at earlier and earlier ages nowadays. And I can't help but be skeptical. So anyways, this was this was a crazy case. And obviously this kid is going to be an absolute, he's already a phenom, but I mean, 
the future is ridiculously bright, so keep an eye on him in the future. And um, that is my stance, man. I do not think this is natural, though. And uh, But that's not to take anything away from this kid. Obviously, he's busting his ass. Obviously, he's making, doing everything he needs to be doing. And um, time will tell how his uh, career transpires. So, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed that. Like, subscribe, check out my blog, moreplace28s.com. Obviously, if you're interested in... Um, weightlifting history and uh, more of the details regarding the context of this kind of stuff. Um, check out Weightlifting House. Obviously, this guy is far more well versed in all of these facts than I am. I'm just kind of like spitballing based on what I can see on the progression of this kid, the age, you know, extrapolating based on some of the historical facts that um, Weightlifting House has brought up, stuff like that. So, I, I don't think it takes a rocket scientist to figure this shit out, though, to be honest. So, but, anyways, if you enjoy this kind of stuff, check out Weightlifting House and um, subscribe here if you want to see more content about anti doping, pharmacology, chemistry, and whatnot. And comment helps the algorithm. If you want to support the channel, you can check out anything I'm associated with in the video description below. Thank you guys for watching. Talk to you soon.